What is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and we're talking some Eagles football before we get into the gloom and doom of things in Philadelphia sports and I'm talking Phillies and Sixers. I'm making four videos today. Four for four. We're covering all four teams today and we're, we're rocking the bucket hat today. We're rocking the bucket hat because why not? Why not? Flyers just coming off a 2-1 to one victory. I'm hyped. But there is some things I got to cover with the Philadelphia Eagles that I haven't talked about in a little bit. So let's get into that. Eagles, Doug Peterson, Lane Johnson, Jatavis Brown, Michael Irvin, and now Everson Griffin. That's what I'm going to be discussing in today's Eagles video. But before I get into that, Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and comment down below if you are ready for Eagles football. We are less than a month away from NFL football, hopefully. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Doug Peterson returns in the first day of practice, and that's what I love to see. I'm loving that Doug Peterson, Dougie P, is back. He is healthy. Let's get it going. Let's get it going because we need him. He's the leader of this football team outside of Carson and, you know, guys like that, like Fletch and all those guys. But he is the leader. He is the outspoken leader. He's the head coach. We know how much the head coach means in football. Come on, man. Look at Bill Belichick. He barely even says a word, and guess what? He's the winning. He, he's a god. He he's in football glory. To have Doug Peterson back during the first day of practice is huge. It's huge. He gets to see who is playing where, what, what's going on. He gets to see that. He gets to call the shots. And I'm sure Deuce Staley did a great job of covering for him when he was on his absence. And we all know what he was on. He had the virus. He had to quarantine himself for two weeks. He tried to stay as interactive with the squad as he possibly could, but he is back. We are ready for Eagles football training camp. I cannot wait. Eagles football, baby. I mean, it's the biggest thing in Philadelphia. It sucks that we don't have fans in the stands this year. I I'm, I'm devastated. I love going to games. But guess what? You're going to see me going crazy regardless if there is a game I will be going crazy might even have to do a live stream here or there who knows who knows but it's it's big to get Doug Peterson back I'm glad he is back that's why I kind of had to pull out the bucket hat the Eagles training camp bucket hat by the way you know I'm recording this video at 11:30 at night I'm going to be making two more after this one so make sure to be ready cuz there's a video coming out before this during this one and then two more after this one we're we're recording all night baby i mean let's let's get it let's go it, it's go time but now for some of the bad news i guess you could say jatavis brown and everson griffin so all of a sudden jatavis brown the guy that we got from the the chargers has retired for some odd reason he was more of a special teams guy I'm not gonna lie but he was an athletic linebacker and it's already thin enough with our linebacker core you know you have TJ Edwards who's you know supposedly supposed to have a big year this year but to be honest I don't know if I can really believe that I mean last year Nick Pavetta was supposed to be a Cy Young finalist. Well, Nick Pavetta sucks. So who knows if TJ Edwards is going to be good, if he's going to be serviceable, or if he's going to be bad. But all I know is that our linebacker core is very thin. And I already made a video on Marquise Goodwin, but as well as the the linebacker core, the, the wide receiver core is also... It's not thin, but it's young. John Hightower needs to step up. Quez Watkins and Jalen Rager. They need to step up now. They need to... 
it's it's the next man up. They're young, they're inexperienced, and some of them are later round picks. But we need them to step up, especially Rager. I mean, he was drafted, what, 21, 20 overall? He needs to step up. He he needs to play good. That's all I'm asking. I don't Stepping up is, is something big to say for somebody that hasn't even played a snap yet. And I will have to go back in on that term in a little bit. But, you know, Rager, he needs to have a good year. He needs to be a reliable source for Carson Wentz for the deep ball, for a, a little slant. We need Jalen Rager to produce. He needs to not follow in Aguilar and Riley Cooper and, you know, other wide receivers' footsteps since they get drafted by here. We have not really drafted a great receiver ever. I mean, honestly. But, I mean, you have DJX. But other than that, I mean, we got to see what happens where Greg Ward, he's supposedly playing the slot. Alshon's supposed to be coming back sometime. But I don't know. The wide receiver core does worry me. And now this also worries me. I did get breaking news before I started recording that Everson Griffin has reportedly signed a deal with the Dallas Cowboys. So that does add an edge rusher for them. They did lose Robert Woods, I think. Don't quote me on that. But, you know, we were talking a lot of smack on them earlier in the, in the offseason because that's what we do. But Everson Griffin's a good player. I'm not, I'm not going to take that away from him. He had a down year last year, but he's a good player. Don, uh, the Dominican Sue, I'm pretty sure, is there now. I don't, I don't even know. They just signed a bunch of old heads. I know Gerald McCoy's there. I know for a fact he's there. But who knows what that means for for Philadelphia I mean Everson Griffin's a good player but who knows who knows because he still has to deal with Lane Johnson Peters Dillard you know our O-line he Kelsey he still needs to deal with that and we, we we had pretty good success with him on when he was on the Vikings not gonna lie but yes that was breaking news right before I started recording this. And since we're on the topic of Cowboys, Michael Irvin said something today that was just blatantly wrong. And, like, it was the worst comparison I think I've ever seen. He said, the Cowboys drafting C.D. Lamb is the equivalence of of Kevin Durant joining the Warriors. I, I'm, I'm sorry. How is that even relatively true? To say that C.D. Lamb getting drafted by the Cowboys, who hasn't even played a NFL snap yet, is the equivalent to an MVP... At the time, the second best player in the league. And to a team that just won the championship two years prior and just lost in Game 7 to arguably LeBron's greatest... No, not arguably. To LeBron's greatest finals performance ever. How is that a good, how is that a good comparison? How? That... Uh, uh, to me, that's awful. That's an awful comparison. That doesn't even make sense. The Cowboys, yeah, they get C.D. Lamb. Does that mean they're going to blow every team out now? No. They're still going to lose games. The Warriors did too, but, I mean, they were dominant. We knew what the Warriors were getting with Kevin Durant. C.D. Lamb could be a bum. I mean, honestly, he, he really could be a bum. I'm not saying he's going to be, but he could be. He could be a boom or a bust. Who knows? But we knew what Kevin Durant was doing. We knew who Kevin Durant was when he joined the Warriors. We don't know anything about Lamb. He's a good receiver in college. Yeah. But can he do it in the pros? 
So to me, that was a terrible comparison. I don't even know why he decided to say that. But that's really it for this video. I really just wanted to get on here, talk to my Eagles fans, you know, introduce new Eagles fans to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below if you love Eagles football. But Doug Peterson's back. The, uh, the linebacker core did lose to Davis Brown. The wide receiver core is very, very young. Everson Griffin goes to the Cowboys, and Michael Irvin is talking like he always does. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I am out. Peace.